Welcome back to Suladan Place, the Stanley Parable. Last time, we messed Kirk around with a telephone. Gone. That what sums up most of the episode. This time, to I'm going to go jump off a platform Perhaps involving the area near memory. the telephone. But this involves me running past Charlie's best wishes and complaints, so, when you know, we're came to there. a set of two But there's an open door over here ago. that requires my attention. And Look, since Stanley, jumping down I there leads to death, but proves I can jump here. off. I want to go I'm that not your way. Enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this oh, time. Oh, I know, I know, Charlie, but I must explore. Stanley. I must poke and chew someone. on everything. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? <laughs> Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Oh dear. <laughs> You're gonna give me more choices now. I wonder what's through this door. Danger. Danger everywhere. <laughs> it's no worse than the do not lie sign. Shot behind me as always. Staircase. To be three. To be continued? No, to be three. To be four, to be five. A now listen door. carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I'm gonna do it this time, but you know we're coming back for that blue door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. <laughs> running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier Wait if we just... Stopped. This is a looping. This and is I looping. Think, well, I think I have a solution. Death is not here. the solution, man. Let no! Me show you. Oh, dear. An open door. Wait. An open door. But an open door. I don't think it matters in this case. Bad, bad idea, bad idea. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Oh, nope, I'm. Oh, okay, I'm trapped. I wanted to explore the void, but apparently that's not an option. Oh, it's so yeah. beautiful. Yes. If we just stay right here, Oops. right in this moment, uh, with this oh, place, I I fell off. Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> it is pretty, I have to admit. You're going to make me leave, aren't you? Or, I don't know. want it. So pretty and colorful. I figured there's a choice option here involving me leaving after he shows me the prettiness, but, you know, that's kind of sad. I want to enjoy the prettiness. I can see where they're clipping into a floor down there. At what point does the... Is this just endless... That's a valid question. Is it going to start looping? Because it might just be doing this until I decide to go ahead and leave, thus making it look like I had a choice when I had none at all. Or it may just be a matter of patience. We'll see if it begins to loop. So far it hasn't done so, because these green lights are different than the blue lights that were there when we entered. Although I admit it's... Well, something's happening, something's changing, the green lights are lessening. I think. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. And now it's growing dark. And now they're red. Am I gonna have to go Google it and see if this is endless? Well, this seems new. This is new. Let's watch this. Or this might be a repeat of the first. <sighs> and 
at what point does this does this is this a, like a secret ending if I just stand here and watch it for 30 minutes or is this just going to keep looping the same patterns just with different colors although this really is beautiful to watch it's got an almost lava lampish. The the lights are meld, m merging together into what look like amorphous globs. I'm gonna follow that one in particular. Hmm. I'm gonna give it one more chance. Let's see what it does after this. Or is the metaphorical choice to literally stop, a.k.a. stay here forever? Hmm. You know, I never did try the save thing. Let's... I did save, right? What? Oh, don't tell me. Oh, no, 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 how do I, how do I load from the save? Uh, load game. You mean I could have been doing this all along to save me time and choices? I really thought the save menu was just a gimmicky thing. And I honestly forgot it existed a bunch of times. Okay, Charlie, is anything else going to appear? Oh, the stars have come back. Let's see if it... That may mean it's looping back. No, it's doing something different. You know what? I, I'm going. Out the door we go. Oh! Ah, uh, no, this... Wait, where are you going? Uh, right. Where were we? I'm confused. Also, you cannot keep me eternally distracted with shiny, colorful things. There are weird dominoes and things. Oh no! Stay away from those stairs! If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset! We'll lose all of this! What if I go back? I'm probably wasting my time here, but, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there, hmm? Just, just You can't just keep here. me here distracted for eternity with shiny things. They're so pretty, though. And we're going this way now. No! What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. I mean... Uh, are you... you are going to stay here, aren't you? If you gave me an actual ending, yes, but this is just me staring. How many times can I go back and forth? You heard me before, didn't you? You will die! What about this isn't getting through to you? Um... The you, the will, and the die, and the uh, and the periods in between them, and the empty space, and the pretty colors, and the these walls make me think of dominoes. I know that's actually what you know walls look like when you put up the sheetrock and you mud the gaps between them and where the screws are, and then you paint over that so you have a nice smooth surface. So it's meant to look incomplete, but it looks like dominoes. Also, I won't die for going up the stairs. That's what the Talos principle wanted me to think. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Take what from you? The pretty colors? You're clearly capable of making them all on your own. I wonder if this is the zending that the, uh, the, the, the Out of Bounds room was talking about. <laughs> They got merged with another ending. Because it literally involved going to a menu and... I don't know. It's under the stairs. Okay, I think we've pushed the dialogue as far as we can. So let us continue. Gotta find out what's through that blue door anyway. 
Ah, uh, yeah. The the ending is literally me jumping off here. <sighs> no! Yeah. Oh, thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? So I'm guessing that now I have the choice to go back up there and do it again, or to go to the other room. Going to the other room probably won't help. There. See? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. <sighs> Come on, if you stop moving, we just have to stop I get you're trying moving. to make meta-narrative things, but still. Here. I'll even save and quit. Yeah, but see, it didn't didn't help me. And clearly the answer isn't to do this. I mean <sighs> Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Me and my desire to see everything. <laughs> Kind of surprised he didn't barricade the staircase. He's no. cool. No, no, what do you do? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Uh, the end. I mean, that, that right there, honestly, that would convince me. That's all you gotta do is go to credits. Because me willfully standing here and just watching the eternal pretty colors is not uh, helping anybody and not doing anything and not being very interesting. I can't even jump off, well, I can't jump at all, but I, I can't even walk off and enjoy the void. I wouldn't be enjoying the void, I would be dead, but you get the idea. Any ending involving me just manually as the player standing there for eternity is not... Well, not an ending that brings closure or does anything. It is just, uh, it's, it's no different than me just doing this and saying, oh, pretty wall, well, let's stand here forever. I wasn't touching the mouse and he was still turning slightly. Jump again! We Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for... Yes, perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. Do something, you'll God. see, you'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? I mean, I don't want to jump off a thing repeatedly, so in that context, I won't be happy in the other room. I'm at least pleasantly distracted in here, but there's only so much that the pretty colors can do before they likewise become a distraction, and then no, the... perhaps not. Then the negative one is at least me actively doing something, even if that leads to pain. My god, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? No, You're that just gives me something... To kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? No, it just gives me something active to do. If you gave me something to do in here, I would stay in here. But I have nothing to do in here but stare at a wall. A wall of pretty colors, but a wall nonetheless. It seems more or less a commentary on whether, you know, choosing activity over inactivity, the freedom of choice is better than not freedom of being in there staring at a wall. Because Charlie's story is really uh, rather interesting, it's just not when it involves me doing nothing. And this makes me sad, having to jump off this repeatedly, because I don't like hearing Charlie say it. Whee! What if you Maybe just... Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are you just teasing me? I really want to. All you've got to do is put a trampoline at the bottom and I'd have an endless eternal fun. I wanted us well, to be happy okay, here, Stanley. Really. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> I wish I still thought that was possible. Okay, I wouldn't be eternally amused because, you know, variety and whatnot, but... This is depressing. This is just... D depressing. I'm slowly breaking this man's spirits by jumping off a platform because the game is not giving me any other option. 
Because programmatically speaking, standing out there staring at the pretty colors is not progressing anything. It is just me standing there. But doing this is bringing progress. But doing this is sad. Is oh. it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Sorry, Charlie. Hmm. I broke Charlie. I think Stanley I... had never seen the office oh, this okay. brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. The way it was just sitting there with no text was like I broke Charlie. When Stanley came to a set of Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I mean, they never technically hired me. I just, I, I got lost one day. I was trying to get to Waffle House. I wandered into this office building, into an open office, the door shut, and I'd been trapped there ever since. So, I mean, I ended up here because I was bad at following directions. Me trying to get back out has nothing to do with it. Whee. Someone you forgot. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration Whee! for others? Are you that go this convinced way that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but Gonna I really do want door. to help you, to show you something Gonna beautiful. Gonna go through the blue door. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your blue side. Blue door! Give me There's a, a chance. Dolly. <gasps> now listen carefully, this is important. This looks Stanley so much like the dollies we use at work. Door. It's not even funny. <laughs> Ooh, a door over here. That would be so funny if that- wait, what if I go back? Oh, I should have known. That would give too many possible options if you could just go back at every juncture. Blue door! Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. There's no hallway. Blue door! I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> Blue door! <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. Yellow. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You give me absolutely nothing so I don't so know. Far. This is awesome so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. I just... There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Broke some go of the lies. Stanley. Take it for a spin. Whee! Wait, what if I go down the left door? I have to try, especially now that I know I can just save the game and keep going. Whee! Left door. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, what? You really missed the opportunity to have me try to get back on track and have him have a fit about it? Wow. Wow, game dev. Really. That, that would have been the perfect opportunity for him to have like a break breakdown because I went back onto his track. Oh, well, we're going to go with this one. Because they all lead to the same spot. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! Fuck. You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? But... Well... It's instinct, mostly. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I... I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. 
Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. But here's the... Here's the thing, though. In game design, choice is important, but there's there's more nuance to it. One, an endless assortment of meaningless choices does not measure up to a smaller assortment of meaningful choices. Uh, also, there's the fact that through gameplay narrative, you can make the player feel like they had a choice. While their choice didn't really affect anything tangible, they still are left feeling like they had a choice. A good example of this would be the Mass Effect uh, dialogue trees. In many cases, your dialogue choices had no impact on the outcome. It just had an impact on what dialogue happened, but the player still feels like they were making choices. Now, there were some things in those games that your choices did affect, but for the most part, many of the dialogue choices were superfluous. But they felt like choices to the player and thus were meaningful. Meaningful choice must be meaningful, or feel meaningful. If you can keep the illusion of it being meaningful, then great. Stanley Parable, worldwide leader. <laughs> no! But only, wait, what am I supposed to do now? You didn't, oh my dear goodness. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Wait, are you telling me I have really spent eight hours in this game? Hang on. To the epic game, to the to the game store thing. No, it says I've spent 147 minutes in this. You are making up numbers, Charlie. A dead rat is awful. He's saying the dead rat is superior to me. I see. Yeah, way to be passive aggressive. Well, what do I do now? Go right again, I guess. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. I'm going to be honest. I have been told by, well, mainly one person, but I have very little competitive drive. If you tell me somebody is better than me at something, I don't feel motivated to try to outdo them. I don't have that competitive spark. Uh, I just, I don't. Like, I, I don't know. It, it's hard to put into words, but... I've been told I have very little competitive Hey, time. I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. Ooh, loading screen. I was kind of expecting something. Oh, in why is there a baby in a box? The baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? You're kidding me, Be right? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. You're kidding me, right? You really think I'm going to do this for four hours? I've got to look it up. I've got to see if this is an actual thing or if the game is just messing with me. Good to see that enthusiasm. Keep it up, Stanley. Just three hours and 45 minutes left to go. <laughs> okay, so clearly you're in it for the long haul. Although I find it hard not to believe you're simply running a program to click the button over and over automatically, <laughs> which kind of ruins the point of the game, don't you think? Wouldn't that take the art out of it? You can tell me in your post-playtest analysis. Just popping in to say hi. I hope you weren't expecting more regular intervals of commentary from me, but that's not why you're here, <laughs> is it? You're here for the game, for the art, for the endlessly spiraling sense of pointlessness and despair. Yes, this is what drives your every action. Keep clicking that button for hope. For freedom, for science, for love. Don't ever, ever stop. 
You know, I've been spending the last two hours here embroiled in thought, and it's occurred to me this game is incomplete. It's missing something. It still doesn't have that oomph. What is it, I thought to myself? What could possibly be missing from this incredible experience? And then in a moment of rapture, as though delivered by angels, it came to me. Before this moment, I was blind, but those days are behind us. I now understand the true manifestation of this game. It needs a puppy. That's right, this puppy is being lowered toward an aquarium filled with nothing but piranha. Now you have to click the second button to avert the puppy's death in addition to the babies. This is it, Stanley. Art! I did it! Video games are art! Ah, oh, but you have a good two hours or so to go, so I'll, I'll just let you get to that. No time to waste when there is such a meaningful game to be played. Bon chance, mon ami! What kind of horrible... Ah, good to see both the puppy and the baby are still alive. It warms my heart to see how deeply the message of this game has resonated with you. <laughs> I can only imagine the joy welling up in your chest. The sheer joy of such pure distilled life, life juggling flowing through your veins. It must be amazing. I'm jealous of you, truly I am. No, seriously, I'm deeply envious of your position at this very moment. Masochism simulator. Ah, the joy of artistic expression must be even stronger now. Drink it in, Stanley. Few people on this planet will ever get such an experience. Peer through space and time. The universe unravels itself at your feet. This is the one true meaning of life. I know we said this would go on for four hours, but what if you never stopped? Think about it. You could just keep going forever. Visitors would come from around the world to see the man who never stopped pushing the buttons. You would be famous. That's what you've always wanted, right? To be famous? That and the surging power of artistic beauty to flow through you for all of eternity. You could have both of these things. We'll talk about it when you get there. Have we really been doing this for over three and a half hours? Goodness, how time flies. Wouldn't you say it's flown? Oh, no, you, you don't have to answer that. I understand you're quite busy. Just just keep at it. Almost there. Ah, uh, why is everything shaking? Charlie, what are you... there, Stanley. Art itself is about to burrow into your skull. Aren't you excited for spiritual immortality? I already got that, For transcendence thing. and oneness with the beauty and essence of all beings? Just a few seconds now. Here it comes. You're gonna try to jump some gear. Oh. Fear me more than the essence of a black monolith. Well, we've gone, all, we've gone full 2001. There's, but you cannot read this text. Others? I know that when you know that when you die, I'll personally carry your spirit across something <laughs> into my garden built with the emotions of a flower. Uh, We'll live together, dance and eat and sin. You'll do improv comedy based on suggestions from me for all eternity. Not much of an eternity if you're still doing sin, but, you know. I don't get why part of the text is going behind the thing. Well, if it renders, it may be based on the character's position. This is your reward for your work here today. Slow clap for the person that actually did this, because I sure didn't. Now live your normal human existence and await me in the life that follows this one. I love you. <laughs> I'm guessing you're mobile during that part. Hmm. 
The video you just saw is from Outta Space, O-U-T-T-A-S-P-A-C-E. Published on October 19th, 2013, it has 1.8 million views, and they saved me the trouble of wondering what would happen with the whole baby ending and whatnot. So, I'm gonna walk away now. I'm gonna, no, I can't climb into the bucket. You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? You throw me into Portal, so help me. Yes. But you and GLaDOS seem like, like you get along work. well. Let's give it a shot. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Oh, Minecraft! Well, Stanley, is uh, this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game wait, I have I can't absolutely jump still. nothing to do with. How could you but do this enough? to me? <laughs> Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever You be gave enough? me Minecraft, well, but I can't this. jump. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, but Stanley. But I can't I'm jump. I'm going to build a house. Please do, I want to watch. <laughs> this will go here. No. Here and then. How are you using Minecraft graph? Well, I guess they don't. I don't know. Let's I'm confused. See, what does it need? I uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all yeah. off, let me go in. Yes. Oh, it's complete. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed Sir? at your own um, inadequacy. I can't build oh, good in but Minecraft. You've only seen it from the outside, but uh, <laughs> only gotten half the experience. Please, I mean, maybe an Step entrance to an underground and cave. Make yourself comfortable. Sure. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if. Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Wait, where? Dude, I can't see you. I'm waiting for a creeper to appear and just blow me up. Wait, if I... Nope, that tree blocked me. I was going to try to sneak around. Eh, nope. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No, and I can't jump either. I mean, there's some coal. Punch some trees for me, and then I really feel like I'm playing Minecraft. I'm having to actively remind myself I'm not playing Minecraft oh, no, right no, now. No, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. No, but I finally heard zombie. How could you do this to me, Charlie? I want to go poke a zombie. I just need a stick to poke him with. <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped you in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Oh, well, I, I either broke it or he moved it. I don't know where. I love how you lifted it so I can't get back in there, I think. It may have been lifted all along. I don't know. It's been a while since I played Portal. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Did somebody really go to all the effort to recreate these games in Stan Stanley Perkins? That well, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these.
Oh, I kind of figured the GLaDOS was going to show up and be like, who are you people and what are you doing here? Get out. Uh. Well, I fell down here now, so this is where we are. I can't see, and I think I just walked off the cliff. Well, that was unfortunate. Ooh. I like this place. I don't know what this place is, and it would be nice if it was a little brighter, but I like it nonetheless. It also would have been funnier if we'd gone through some more games, but, you know, there's a limit to how far you can push that idea. Ooh, what if I go back to my office? Because I, re I recognize this place now. Wait. I don't recognize the contents of them monitors. There's a light on over here, though. That means I'm going the right way. Maybe the point of the game is for me to go back to my office. Uh, this ain't my office. Charlie, is this your office? Is this where you've been messing with me from? I see. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I was having fun. I wonder if he's happy with his choice and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Oh wait, there's still one other path I haven't gone. Uh, Stanley decided to go between to the, the employee when lounge. Came to a set of two open. This was not the correct way to the, the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly. The door on well. the left. There was an elevator. He wanted to stop I noticed it like in the first, first episode of this. Just to admire it. But I never actually went down it. The lounge I made a mental slime. note of it, and that, was, at that art. point I decided to but obey everything and see where that business. led. Stanley took the first open door on his left. To the left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Indeed. I'm so back on track. I'm so on track you don't even know, Charlie. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh... uh from here, it's, um, left. Is that the only door? Fine. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? He's trying to get what revenge on I me, ain't you? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute? Couldn't you just send me back up the elevator? Wouldn't that be the easiest way back? Why are you so obsessed Let's with me going see. forward? Went down, right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Hi, Mr. Truck. And a generator. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, I don't okay, have that okay, okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? I really okay. thought this one would from go the further. Top, when Stanley... Wait. Wait. What? what? No, I... no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. I'm lost. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. 
I don't have a clue what this one is, so we're gonna go with it. Come here, Story. Come here. Where you at? So help me if I turn a corner and find a dog. I'm just... I, I'll... I don't know. Eat a shoe? Oh, look. I'm back here. Non-Euclidean geometry. Away. Oh, hey. This is a fancy hallway. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a oh. shot. Why not? Why? All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley well, let's decided uh, to go to the try to get to the room closet Perhaps again. He had simply there's, missed a memo. there's the thing there, and it's quick and simple. Ah. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. <sighs> Why don't we go back the other Carly. direction and see if we missed anything? Now you're the one breaking the story. How, how is this my fault? You're the one that's doing all these things. And the office is empty. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. But I'm looping. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Charlie, are you on something? Do I, do I need to call somebody? Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think this so. Is last? I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Can I get the achievement for oh, beating no. the Stanley Parable, though? No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what is that? All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? What the? This way! That didn't help. Um. No, no, I'm down. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Really? Dude, we ain't ever going this way. Why are you, why are you going off track? Whatever. Follow the line. You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. 
Well, I'd like to apologize. <sighs> I'm gonna have to get sure the mackerel, Charlie. All that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh, the line. I... This music does not fit the theme at all. Loud music. I'm gonna have to fix this in editing, ain't I? The line's going a bit wonky. <laughs> Charlie, I can't take you seriously with that music. Yeah, now it's looping. So much for that. Wait, what? 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 I broke reality, I think. Am I supposed but I'm Okay, if I follow the line... We're following it, I don't care. We broke reality to do it, but... Oh, I see, it loops through a weird non-Euclidean hallway. It loops back to where it came from. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Thank you. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. I have to get Make rid of the music, sure you right? study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay, well, we've studied a fern. Fern appreciation Wait, what? achievement. We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? <laughs> Dude, you're the one that trusted a line to tell us where to go. Oh, look, the monitor. Oh, on. no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Can I please jump? Okay, well, back to the line again. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Uh -huh. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Sure, why not? Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Works for me. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. It's trying to intrude. We're being attacked by a line. There's just some very confused janitor up ahead with a mop and a bucket full of paint. Oh good, it left. He didn't like being called a janitor. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. <sighs> How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk Whee! in circles for a minute. Sure, I'll go that way. Okay. I'll give you so this I one. know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. 
And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? It requires me to know where the destination is. the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Mm. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Don't you dare open both doors. Oh, big shiny. What? Oh, both doors led here. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? The narrator. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, so here. this thing. Wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I don't... I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Works for me. And the timer stopped. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. Want to play checkers? I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you do happen to have a... Well, apparently the game had other ideas. Poor Charlie. Hmm. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided okay, to go to the now we're going to the broom Perhaps closet. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. This episode has become longer than intended. So the broom when closet Stanley is our came destination. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet, there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided... Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. <laughs> he wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> uh, are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I'm a scarecrow. See, there ain't no crows in this closet. You therefore, do I'm realize doing there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. 
He probably only got the job because of a <laughs> Yeah, that's going to get me out of the room. <laughs> that all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> okay, Charlie. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. I'm keeping All that right. recording. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Into the closet we go. You too. Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. <laughs> and I almost inhaled smoothie. <coughs> <coughs> uh. Coming to a staircase. Okay, begin the game again. There technically is not a literal broom closet ending, but you can do a thing with the How broom wonderful. closet. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley is. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything <laughs> at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Aww. Begin again. morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Can you verify that this is correct? Yes. Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Well, that was neat. And random. And that broom closet better be full of cardboard boxes now. I'm guessing that's just a random thing, but still. When Stanley you need came to a set thing. of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yeah, that's the thing. He boards up the broom closet because he gets sick of it. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, so Zending was the one where we ended up jumping off the platform repeatedly. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The black monolith is not supposed to be there. 
Uh, before December 27th, 2016, there was in this place a strange black rectangular prism which was blocking the left part of the text. The developers declared on their website that this was a bug. It's in fact the door that opened to show the puppy which doesn't disappear and is still in front of the camera. They never tested this part of the game due to the great amount of time it would be required to reach it. In a patch deployed that day, they claimed to have fixed the, quote, black monolith thing. <laughs> Okay, so there's still a handful of things I haven't done, but as this episode has dragged on rather long, unintentionally so, I'm trying not to make these too long, but I'm going to go ahead and pause here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.